Hello, I'm Jessica Taylor. Today we will be exploring Google Classroom on the iPad. It is a digital tool that can be used to access your schoolwork, turn in your assignments, get feedback or ask for assistance, and check messages that you receive from your teachers. Here's how to get started with Google Classroom. On your iPad's home screen, you should have a Classroom app. It has a white background and what looks like a green chalkboard. You'll click on that app and all the classes you're enrolled in will get pulled up. If you are trying to enroll in more classes, you're going to click on the addition sign in the bottom right corner and your teacher will give you a class code to type in. In this case, when you want to go to your homeroom class, you just have to click on the homeroom. This brings you to your stream. The stream is where you will see announcements from your teacher, as well as assignments that the teacher has posted. If you add a class comment, it will be visible for your entire class to see and not just between you and your teacher. When you're trying to go to turn in your classwork or see what assignments you have, you're gonna to go to the classwork tab at the bottom. Here you'll have different colors. Gray assignments are assignments you've already turned in, and the colored assignments are those that still are due. If I click on an assignment I've already turned in, I have a couple of things I can look at. Down where it shows my work, it shows that I have a private comment and it shows my grade. If I want more information, I pull up on the arrow and I'll see what attachments I turned in and the comment from my teacher. If I add a private comment, that is just between my teacher and myself, nobody else in the class will see. Now, if I want to look at a new assignment, I click on the assignment. It shows it's assigned, so I've not turned it in yet. There are a couple of things I can do. When I'm given a PDF from my teacher, if I click on it, I can make note on it right here. So if I wanted to show my work, I would click on the little pencil button and it would allow me to mark up my assignment. So I could do seven times one is seven, nine times two is 18, and I can show my work just like that. The important thing to remember when you're using the pen tool is to definitely click the save button at the top right because the PDFs do not automatically save like Google assignments normally do. When I finish with my assignment and I'm happy with it, I pull up on that arrow again and I can click turn in. If I hit it twice, it'll show that it's been submitted and then I am good to go. Another way to check for assignments is to click the three lines on the top left, the menu button, and you have a to-do list. The to-do list can show what assignments have been done, what assignments are missing, and then those that are assigned. If you need to go into an assignment and attach work, what you can click is add attachment and then you have several options. If you did the assignment and it's saved in your Google Drive, you just click Drive, My Drive, and click on the assignment that you want to attach. Another option is to add an attachment and you can start a new Google Doc, Google Slide, or Google Sheet right there. This will pull up slides for you and you can just start typing in. And then once you're done, you go back to classroom, you hit turn in, and you're done with your work. If you switch classes and need to get to a new class, you can always go back to the classes screen by clicking the three line menu button, classes, and then you can switch to the next class you need to go to.
So again, that is how you can use Google Classroom to help you find and turn in your assignments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check out the other resources we have on the Dear Dish channel.